Hey guys! So today I'll be doing my first prom makeup tutorial for 2014 and it's a it's an intense one. Today I'm going to show you this prom look. It features mainly sort of this beautiful plummy purple color with golds and shimmers and lashes and brows and lips and just elegance and glamour and jaw. I did two prom makeup tutorials before and you can find the links down in the info box and I wanted my third look to involve a little bit more color so that is why I came up with the purple and the gold. This will suit all eye colors, all skin tones. It will look gorgeous on anyone. So yeah, if you want to know how to get this prom look, then please keep on watching. One of the most important things to do for prom is prime. If you don't prime your skin for an event like this, I can assure you that your skin will look horrible after an hour or four already. And that is all due to nerves, which are gonna make you sweat, and um, you're gonna like touch your face a lot because you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That boy looks hot! So the first thing I'll be doing is taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and spray my entire face with this. But first, shake it. Don't use too much of this. That's key. I found that when you use too much of this setting spray, it will counteract, won't work, make you look like a greasy grease ball from grease. Oh, grease lightning. Oh. And I'm going to go ahead and take Max Natural Radiance Prep and Prime in Radiant Yellow. And I'm just going to take two pumps of that and oh, just let your skin feel amazing. For my foundation today, I'll be using my favorite L'Oreal True Match. And this is N1 Soft Ivory. But if you're someone like me and you tend to have a lot of red spots when you get hot or when you're dancing or just you ha tend to have a little bit more redness in your face than others do, but I'm going to take my Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen uh, Foundation and this is a number I'm pure for sure ivory. Okay, so I'm going to mix the two together to come up with a little bit more of a yellow foundation and that will fight the redness throughout the entire day. And I like to dot the foundation onto my skin first and then buff it in with a brush. So go ahead. And the brush I love using for this is the MAC 159 and I just start buffing this in using circle, circle shape motions, I don't know, just, you know, circle it. No. Yeah. Uh, little note, I always take my lips because it gives me sort of that feeling of a blank canvas and I can really sort of see my face as a blank canvas and I can do all kinds of things to it so I blank up my lips as well. So just go ahead and buff this entire thing in. Okay so once you've completely buffed that in it's time for concealer and I'm gonna use my favorites today. Under my eyes I'll be using my MAC Pro Longwear in NC15 and then to further highlight my face and sort of give it a little bit more dimension I'll be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly light number one and I just put it under my eyes and on the inner corner of my eyes to really lighten that up as well and then I sort of drag it down a bit and go here and that will kind of lift this part. I also do the tip of my nose and then I go ahead and take all the other concealers and I just go and stripe myself up. <laughs> And once you look like a complete fool, you want to tap that in. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge something. I'm just going to start tapping all that concealer work in. Note as I leave the very inner corners of my eyes untouched because I feel like the flat surface of the sponge is a little bit too big for that. So for the inner corners of my eyes, I go to the point, sort of the beauty blender point and then work that in. And then once I've blended that all in, I'm gonna go back to the flat side and then work that to the rest of my face. And then what I like to do is with the sponge, which is damp because I wet it beforehand, I like to go into my setting powder and for that I like to use my Chanel Natural Loose Finish Powder, Finish Loose Powder in 20 Claire and I really buff it into the sponge and then set my under eye area with that. And this is a great way of making your under eye area last all day 
long. For the rest of my face, I'm gonna let that sink in a little bit more and I'm not gonna set that yet. So what I do after prepping and foundation and concealer is do my brows. And this is a great trick because uh, this area here where the foundation is on my brows is still a little bit damp and wet. And if you apply your brow products on top of that, they really stick to the skin a little bit more because the product is still wet. I will come up with an updated brow routine soon. Um, so for now, just I'm just gonna do them quickly and cut half of it out of the video. <laughs> now it's time to set the entire thing and if one thing is important for prom is to set your face with powder. If you're not powdering your foundation, it's gonna smear, it's gonna move. So I'm gonna go in a little bit of my Chanel Natural Loose Finishing Powder blah blah in 20 Claire again and I'm just gonna set my face with powder lightly. And I concentrate mainly on my T-zone, so forehead, nose and chin and then I like to take what is left and sort of set the entire thing with that okay now on to eyes one of the most important things to do with your eyes is prime them of course just like skin you want your eyes to last all night long all day long basically and what I use to prime my eyelids is my favorite Mac soft ochre paint pot to start off my look I'm gonna take Mac's lip liner in current and I'm gonna use that as an eyeliner so with this I'm gonna start making a line as if I'm making an eyeliner and then go ahead and take that to the inner corner and then go ahead and fill that in what you then want to do is drag it into the crease and really map out your crease with this and what you now want to do with that is start blending that liner, that pencil, and diffusing all the edges, giving it a soft, nice blend. And you want to leave that inner part of that eyeliner that you placed, you want to keep that untouched. You don't want to blend that part. Now I'm going to take Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Creme Brulee, and I'll be starting to blend that into the crease above that purpley shade and this will add a really nice pop of warmth to the look. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie and I will apply that above Creme Brulee. So we go from the lip liner to Creme Brulee to Peach Smoothie. I'm gonna intensify that purpley shade on my lid and crease using Illamasqua's Forgiveness eyeshadow. So just go ahead and intensify that lip liner color with this. Okay, taking that lip pencil by MAC again, called Current, and aligning my bottom lash line with this. And now blending this out with a Real Techniques brush, and really going down. I've told you guys this a million times before, but I really like going down with my eyeshadows on the bottom lash line because it really gives it a smoky effect. It really grounds the look a lot more. Plus in photos, if you go lower with your eyeshadow, your eyes will actually look bigger on pictures. Now I'm gonna set that using that Illamasqua Forgiveness eyeshadow again and just follow along. Now with a little bit of Sugar Pills Bulletproof, a matte black, I'm going to intensify the outer corners of my eyes. I'm going on the outer part of my lower lash line, just really intensifying and darkening that up. And also here on the outer part of my eye, so sort of into the crease and onto the lid. Now for a pop of shimmer and a pop of bronzy gold, I'm gonna take this Diamond Effects Gemstone Collection pigment in Goldstone. And I'm gonna pop it right here on that spot that hasn't got anything on it yet, and then blend it into the darkness a little bit. For my waterline, I'll be using NYX's Slide On Pencil in Brown Perfection. And for the showstopper of the look, I'll be glittering up my eyes using my Makeup Studio Dual Effects in Shine. I'm going to take the tiniest bit and apply that right here over that bronzy gold color. And this will give your eyes such an amazing sparkle. And then I'm taking a tiny bit wet and applying that to the inner corners 
Okay, now it's time for mascara and lashes. And for mascara, I'll be using my Makeup Studio Waterproof 3D in extra black. And of course, my favorite lashes, the MAC 36. What I highly recommend is contouring your face for prom because there's going to be lots of pictures taken and when one of your photographers chooses to use a strong flash, it will blow everything away. So I'm going to contour using my Illamesca eyeshadow in Heroin and just, just contour. You also definitely want to warm up your skin. A lot of photographers use that big flash and what that flash does is also kind of gets rid of all the color in your face. So I'm going to take my Illamesca blush in Disobey and really warm up your complexion. And where I normally would say don't go too far with your bronzer, I think for prom you can add a little bit more because of that flash and because of all the photography. Of course you don't want to go too far where you look like an Oompa Loompa in real life but you do want to, you know, add a little bit more to make it look good on camera as in real life. For blush, it's basically the same. You do want to go a little bit further than you normally would, but you don't want to go too far where you look like a clown in real life. So I'm going to take my favorite blush. This is the Blush Ombre by MAC called Azalea Blossom and then apply that as my blush. I would rather go for a pink blush instead of a peach because flash photography tends to really make peach look dead and nude, whereas pink is a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more alive and there. Now I'm gonna give my face a beautiful glowy finish and for that I'm using my MAC Extra Dimension eyeshadow in a natural flirt and I'm applying this to the highest points of my face. And then remember that Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray? This is the time to bust it out again, shake it. Okay, so once you've shook it, shaked it, shook, shake, uh, you're gonna take a big stippling brush and spritz the All Nighter Spray onto the brush and then stipple your face. Now to finish this entire look off, we need a little bit of lip action and because the eyes are so intense and smoky and va va vooming sexy, I'm going to go for a subtle lip. So I'm first going to line my lips and give them a little bit more fullness using my Lancome Le Contour Lip Pencil in 211 Beige Rose. Okay, for lipstick, I'm then going to use Flash Pod by MAC. I'm going to go for the nudest nude I have. And then as a gloss, I'm going to add a little bit of MAC's Pink Lemonade Lip Glass. And that guys completes this prom makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I want you guys to have so much fun at your prom and make this the best night of your life and just enjoy it to the fullest. And hopefully with my tips and tricks, I could make your uh, makeup journey towards your prom a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, go to my website, NikkiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. That all is Nikki tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you guys next time. Have a lovely time at your prom. Bye guys.